Hi there, this is Emma. She's been living with atopic dermatitis, the most common type of eczema. Today, she'll be walking you through how to properly self-inject the two syringes that come in an Adbri Trelokinumab LDRM carton. Even though you may have learned how to self-inject with your healthcare professional and practiced injecting with the training syringe in your welcome pack, your first time injecting at home might seem a little intimidating. Don't worry, Emma is here to help you get familiar and confident with the process. She'll go over what materials you'll need, how to choose and prepare the injection area, how to self-inject, and how to dispose of used syringes. Before we keep going, it's important that you've carefully read the instructions for use that comes with your Adbri carton. If you haven't yet, pause the video and take a look. We'll keep going once you're done. If you have any questions, you can always contact your healthcare professional or the Adbri Advocate Patient Support Program at 844-MY-ADBRI. Let's get started. Before getting everything together, you'll want to have a clean surface for your materials. Now, here's what you'll need. A nearby sink to wash your hands, clean gauze pads or cotton balls, a sharps container, small bandages, an alcohol wipe. If you don't already have a sharps container, you can get a free one by calling the Adbri Advocate Program. Don't throw syringes or syringe covers away in a regular trash can. For now, you can use an upright household container, such as a coffee can or an empty laundry detergent container. It should be made of heavy-duty plastic, be able to close with a tight-fitting, puncture-resistant lid, and be leak-resistant. Label the container so you and anyone else that comes across it knows it has hazardous waste inside. When your container is almost full, follow your local guidelines on how to dispose of your sharps container. You can call your healthcare professional or visit the FDA website for more information. Take your Adbri carton out of the refrigerator. Check your carton's expiration date. Don't use if it's expired or if the seal is broken. Each carton contains two pre-filled syringes. Remember to keep your Adbri cartons in the refrigerator until you're ready to inject. Never freeze your syringes or use syringes that have been previously frozen. Keep Adbri and all medicines out of the reach of children. Let your syringes warm up to room temperature by leaving them in the carton on a flat surface away from direct light for 30 minutes. Don't try to speed up this process by warming up the syringes in the microwave, under hot water, or in sunlight. It's important you don't shake the syringes, remove the needle cover until you're ready to inject, or put the syringes back in the refrigerator once they've warmed up. Now that your syringes are at room temperature, check them for a few things. Keep in mind your syringe colors may be gray or white. Check the label and the expiration date. Make sure the syringes are not damaged in any way. Look through the syringe's viewing windows. The liquid inside should look clear to slightly pearly and be either colorless or pale yellow. It should not look cloudy, discolored, or have particles. If you have any questions about whether the syringe is okay to use, do not inject either Adbri pre-filled syringe. Give your healthcare professional a call and let them know that something is wrong with your syringes and call 844-MY-ADBRI to speak with an Adbri nurse advocate. Now that you've inspected everything, it's time to choose the area where you'll inject. Since there are two Adbri injections per dose, you'll be cleaning an area that will allow you to keep both injections at least an inch apart. You'll want to choose either your abdomen or your thigh. Make sure that you do not inject through your clothes. When it's time to inject your next dose, you'll want to choose a different area than the one you choose today. If you need to choose your upper arm as your injection area, you'll have to ask a caregiver to inject you. Make sure they read the instructions for use first so they'll know how to do it. You'll want to avoid injecting in areas where skin is tender, damaged, bruised, or scarred. Skin is within two inches of your belly button. Make sure you wash your hands with soap and water before cleaning the injection area you've chosen. Today, Emma is choosing to inject her thigh. Take an alcohol wipe and clean that area of your skin. Wait for your skin to dry and avoid blowing on or touching the area that you've cleaned. When you're ready to inject, carefully remove the needle cover while making sure not to bend the needle. You might see a drop of liquid at the end of the needle. This is normal. Throw the cover away in a sharps container and never recap the Adbri syringes after you've opened them. 
don't touch the needle or let it touch any surfaces. With one hand, pinch and hold around a fold of skin that you clean. With the other hand, insert the needle completely at about a 45 degree angle into your skin. Use your thumb to inject the medicine. Push down on the plunger head until you can't push it down any longer. Now lift your thumb off the plunger head. The needle will automatically move back inside the syringe and lock into place. Take the used syringe and put it in your sharps container. If needed, you can place a dry cotton ball on the area for a few seconds or cover it with a small bandage, as there may be a small amount of blood or liquid where you injected yourself. This is normal. Repeat step three. Just make sure it's at least one inch away from the previous injection site and within the same area of your body. Nice job. Go ahead and dispose of the second syringe in your sharps container. Any other materials, like your alcohol wipe, cotton balls, or band-aid wrappers can go in your household trash can. You're all done. Record the date of your injections on a wall or phone calendar. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any questions, reach out to your healthcare professional or call 844-MY-ADBRI to speak to an ADBRI nurse advocate. Remember that by signing up for the ADBRI Advocate Program, you'll get access to ongoing support, including information on benefits, programs to help you save on ADBRI, online resources, and so much more. Indication and important safety information. What is ADBRI? ADBRI, Trelokinumab LDRM injection, is a prescription medicine used to treat adults with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, eczema, that is not well controlled with prescription therapies used on the skin, topical, or who cannot use topical therapies. ADBRI can be used with or without topical corticosteroids. It is not known if ADBRI is safe and effective in children. Do not use ADBRI if you are allergic to trelokinumab or to any of its ingredients. What should I discuss with my healthcare provider before starting ADBRI? Tell your healthcare provider about all your medical conditions, including if you have eye problems, have a parasitic helminth infection, are scheduled to receive any vaccinations. You should not receive a live vaccine if you are treated with ADBRI, are pregnant or plan to become pregnant. It is not known whether ADBRI will harm your unborn baby. Are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed. It is not known whether ADBRI passes into your breast milk and if it can harm your baby. Tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. How should I use ADBRI? See the detailed instructions for use that comes with ADBRI for information on how to prepare and inject ADBRI and how to properly store and throw away, dispose of, used ADBRI pre-filled syringes. Use ADBRI exactly as prescribed by your healthcare provider. Your healthcare provider will tell you how much ADBRI to inject and when to inject it. ADBRI comes as a single dose, 150 milligram pre-filled syringe with needle guard. ADBRI is given as an injection under the skin, subcutaneous injection. If your healthcare provider decides that you or a caregiver can give the injection of ADBRI, you or your caregiver should receive training on the right way to prepare and inject ADBRI. Do not try to inject ADBRI until you have been shown the right way by your healthcare provider. If you miss a dose, inject the missed dose as soon as possible, then continue with your next dose at your regular scheduled time. If you inject more ADBRI than prescribed, call Poison Control at 1-800-222-1222. Your healthcare provider may prescribe other medicines to use with ADBRI. Use the other prescribed medicines exactly as your healthcare provider tells you to. What are the possible side effects of ADBRI? ADBRI can cause serious side effects including allergic reactions, hypersensitivity, including a severe reaction known as anaphylaxis. Stop using ADBRI and tell your healthcare provider or get emergency help right away if you get any of the following symptoms. Breathing problems, itching, skin rash, swelling of the face, mouth, and tongue, fainting, dizziness, feeling lightheaded, low blood pressure, hives, eye problems. Tell your healthcare provider if you have any worsening eye problems, including eye pain or changes in vision. The most common side effects of ADBRI include eye and eyelid inflammation, including redness, swelling, and itching, injection site reactions, high count of a certain white blood cell, eosinophilia. These are not all the possible side effects of ADBRI. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You may report side effects to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088. Please see full prescribing information, including patient information and instructions for use. For more information about ADBRI, visit adbri.com or call 844-MY-ADBRI, 844-692-3279.